All right, we are moving in to what could be the final game of the regular season if Poland wins. If Poland does not win, it is not the final game of the regular season. We are moving on to an ace match between Poland and Asia Pacific. Who do we got? Who do we got? We got Slugger Fogner versus South Park True Touch. Holy shit, they finally put True Touch and South Park on the same team. They're both A-plus dudes. They both started out playing 2v2. They're both like Olympic rank 2v2. I don't know why Poland never put those two guys on the same team. It seems so unfair to do so. But they finally have. They finally have. All right. So, uh, Orange Zerg is True Touch. We'll just keep that. And let's see. Uh, I'll put Slugger on. Let's let's make Slugger the other guy. All right. And reset the score. Boom. So, this is True Touch. He is Orange Zerg going for seven pool. Excuse me. That's a five pool. It was a five pool. Okay. Sick. South Park, going for the much more economical nine pool speed. Sick. All right. Slugger is the brown Protoss. Uh, whoops. Oh, I looked at the names wrong on here. Um, uh, my bad. Okay, so Slugger's the brown Protoss, and Fonger. Not double R, single R. Fonger is the Teal Terran. I was thinking Fonger was Terran, and it was weird that he's playing Protoss, but I didn't question it at the time. Okay, so Protoss Terran versus Zerg Zerg, one of them going for a 5 fool. Welp. This is bad. This is rather bad. <sighs> Alright, so the second racks will just be about done. Not quite when the Lings arrive. There is one Marine. There's one Marine. There's one Marine. It fired one shot. Okay. Not the best start. Not as good as it could have been. Really, to be perfectly honest here. Uh, more lings coming in. The marine does get in the bunker. Okay, we got a marine in a bunker. We're safe. We're safe until more lings come, and then we are dead. Oh god. Oh god, Fogner. 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 All right, all right, we're fine. One bunker, too much. Too much for nine pool plus, nine pool speed plus uh, five pool. It's fine. It's fine. So what's Protoss doing right now? Protoss went two gate, obviously. And eventually we'll decide to attack somebody with, with, uh, with the Zealots. Oh, why would you send just one Zealot out in the middle of the map? To get it killed! They both went super greedy! Like, they both, they went so greedy that you can almost sacrifice one of your players and still not be that far behind because of how stupidly greedy True Touch and South Park are. Almost. Like, you're, it's pretty, it's a pretty tight game. 2v1 if, um, if True Touch and South Park don't just macro hard here, which it looks like uh, South Park is teching up, and True Touch is throwing down another hatchery to build more links. All right, so Ling's going in again. The bunker is empty, but it looks like they don't even need the bunker. Oh, yes they do. Yes they do. Fallinger, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What, what, what are you thinking? Were you thinking these were fire bats? Is that what you were thinking? 
Because those aren't fire bats. They're not. I know you wish they were fire bats, but they're not. Oh, shit. So, all the zealots and probes leave the slugger's base. And now nothing is at slugger's base. And now all the lings are going to be at slugger's base. Why did you do this? What? I, uh, I don't know. Tossa? 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 Are we British now? We going after the Tossa? Fucking Tossa? Bloody Tossa, I guess, if we're continuing with that. Yeah. This was a bad idea! What were you thinking? I guess you were thinking we could do counter attacks. Probably not, though. This is terrible. Not even gonna wait for the Marines. What are you doing? Oh, man. All right, Slugger's dead. Slugger's pretty screwed right now. Can they... It, but, but, this is a strong attack. And if we can trade... If we can trade Slugger for True Touch, it's fine in the end. The drones coming to try to do drills, being pretty successful against the Marines right now. Oh, Mutalisks. Was kind of hoping it'd take a little bit long for the Mutalisks to come out, but no. Nope, they're here. Yeah, GG. Okay. All right. Poland takes game one. Both take game one with unfairly good players playing an unfairly good uh, playing as an unfairly good uh, team combination using unfairly good builds on super unfair maps. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't I don't actually know if <laughs> Sniper's Rage is fair or unfair for two v two, but I'm just gonna say it is because that's fun. All right. Game number two. Poland just needs one more win. Just one more win. All right. So, we have True Touch. True Touch is Teal Zerg. Slugger is Red Terran. Oh, God. Fonger is Blue Terran. And... South Park is Protoss? I didn't know South Park was Protoss. I got really scared for a second because I thought it was going to be Terran Terran versus Zerg Zerg and that just seemed horrible. But no. Um, Terran Terran versus Protoss Zerg. This is a new one. I don't think I've ever seen a Terran Terran team in 2v2. Alright. So... We have let's uh, let's get some colors on there. Um, actually, that's gonna work. I don't need to change shit. Ah, True Touch is still teal, and Fonger is blue. Or there's still in the, he was not still teal, but he's in the same position still. What I meant to say. All right, so Rax one and Rax two. We're BBSing. Pretty sure this is a defensive BBS. Maybe not. They're both BBSing. Not boobs. It's not quite boobs, but it's BBS. That would be funny if both Terran players decide to defensive BBS so that they don't die early and then they think that they can win the late game because a Terran Terran in the late game just seems stupidly good. Like, you could even have one guy only go bio, one guy only go mech. Oh! You could have one guy go mech, one guy go race! Oh! Ho, ho. That'd be so good. Oh man, that would be sick. If one, pl if one player was going race Valk and the other player was going mech? Like, you'll never live long enough to make that work, but I'm pretending you could. Oh. All right. Apparently, uh, True Touch is unafraid of the threat of the double BBS. Double BBS means nothing to him. He's just gonna go murder someone.
Uh, oh. <laughs> Whatever. To be perfectly honest, I kind of wish the overlay didn't... Oh, that was the one that needed to say the same. I kind of wish the overlay didn't have numbers, and I could leave the numbers blank. Because no one cares. No, no one cares about the position. Ever. It's like, you can, you can just tell. You can tell by the race, usually, which one's where, and even if you can't, you can tell by the color on the mini-map. You don't, uh, that's like only for colorblind people who are new to StarCraft and don't know the difference between Terran and Zerg. And honestly, colorblind people who are new to StarCraft, kind of a small minority. Alright, so, here it comes. The double BBS. Uh, the sunken colonies are on the way, but not done yet. The lings are all going to be taken out. Uh, but here come more marines. Here come more marines. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Is double BBS unfair? It looks pretty unfair. I don't know what you're just supposed to do against this. He used all of his drones to try to stop it. He's a six supply. He's going to lose the hatchery. It's fine, he has another hatchery, so if he clears this up, he can long distance mine. But what um what what? What? I, I was kinda hoping the South Park was like, you know, sending some zealous to help out? No, no, fuck that. We're gonna reaver rush. We're gonna go the one gateway, one forge, one cyber core, one robo facility, one support, one cannon build. Cause you know, it's how we do. Um, apparently one Zella was enough though. Uh, True Judge is not dead. He has two drones, but he's making a third. And Reavers. Reavers are pretty good versus Marines. Normally Marines, good against Protoss until the tech comes out. So, what South Park is, is he just went, okay, tech, now, we're doing tech. Let's tech. There is one zealot doing a very nice job blocking marines on the ramp, buying more time for the cannons to shoot them all. And it's going to be enough. I'm not even sure the probe drill was necessary. Okay. The reavers are still even hidden. That's the best part. Like, it's going to be a secret reaver attack. Which is so awesome. Okay. Okay. Please. Please bunch up more marines. Like, oh, that marine, that marine. It's painted red. That marine has a big ass target on its back. And its front. Oh, and on its face. All right, here we go. He's used the shuttle. He's used the shuttle. He's like, what the fuck, a shuttle? And now he's like, what the fuck, a Reaver? Let's all go attack the Reaver. Oh, dear God, let's not attack the Reaver. Okay, Reaver's better than Marines. Reaver is better than Marines. Okay, one at a time. We're gonna go attack one at a time. Oh, shit, he's got fire bats. Oh, shit, okay, okay, we're fine. You guys, you guys, you guys, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Fogner has Reaver fire bats to counter the Reavers. Okay, that only hit the fire bat because he splashed the supply depot. That was really nice job. Like, that was special tactics. There was some special micro right there from South Park. T to defeat the- okay. Okay, but True Touch, he's like, no, you can't deal with- oh. No? No, he's not GGing? I thought he was GGing for a second there. He tricked Fogner. He tricked Fogner into, like, faking a GG, and that's the only way the Firebat got killed. Only way Firebat gets killed. Alright, so, Reaver. Pretty much everything's dead. There are some SCVs left over, and here come the Marines. Oh, uh, it is? I did not know it said um, Russia versus AP. I thought it just said Nation Wars, and that was gonna be the plan, to title it Nation War and then never change it, so I wouldn't have to do anything. I, uh... Oh. Whoops. My bad. I didn't even notice it said that. 
Um. Okay. Update. Update. Done. Done. My bad. My bad, Largo. Okay. Okay. So. So right now, we have 16 supply plus 46 supply is 62. 62 supply compared to 30 plus 19. 49. Pretty much it's even supply between both Terrans and the Protoss. But then there's Zerg, who is going Lair. Is he continuing to go Reaver? He should continue to go. Okay, he is. Good. Good. Continuing to go Reaver. I like it. I like it. Fogner, you, you're hitting the critical timing. You're hitting the critical timing before Fogner builds more fire bats. Oh, Fogner. I bet he wishes he had fire bats right now. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No damage. No damage. That one did damage. Okay. Stim! Stim on the shuttle! Stim for the shuttle! Oh! Fah! Oh, why did that not hit? Why did that not hit? Oh, man. That, that's the point where it's like, well, if it hits, I'm fucking lost the game anyway. So let's all just bunch up. So it's less likely to hit. But more, we'll do more damage if it does. And it worked out. It worked out. The Reaver's dead. The Reaver's dead. We got double double buyout and also a lot of SCVs. Oh, did he Reaver harass in two directions? That would have been pretty sick if he, that's what you're doing. I don't know how you have the micro for that. But it seems that that's what he did and that's why all the SCVs transferred away. And that's why the base is on fire. All right, oh hey, he has a fire bat. He has a fire bat. He only has 29 supply, but really that fire bat is so undervalued, it should count for like 15 supply. Really, that's like a 15 supply fire bat right there. So he's at 45, which is a lot nicer. Okay, 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 okay. The fire bat, he's going right, he's going directly He's going directly for South Park. South Park shitting himself at the prospect of having to deal with a fire bat right now. Um, other than the fire bat though, this attack is pretty weak compared to... There's like as many Dragoons as there are Marines, and then a Reaver. Yeah, but he got the Reaver! He got the Reaver, it's fine. <laughs> so that was kind of a bad idea. It was kind of a really bad idea. So, 81 plus 37 is 120-ish, I think it's 118, compared to 29 pl or 27 plus 27, 54. Typically, as a general rule, 118 is better than 54. General rule right there. All right. So this this right here is what I call the the eight year old defense. It's don't have any tight walls, but let's just throw a bunch of buildings at the ramp, and maybe it will slow him down some somewhat. And it is. It's at least slowing him down. He is not murdering stuff quite as quickly as he would be. As if the buildings were farther back. I will give him that. I can't believe rushing Reaver worked. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright. So... Two supply? Two supply? Let's go find that two supply. Um, there's one. Where's the other supply? There it is. 
He's got two SCVs, and the command center is... Dead. Okay. He's out of the game. It's all up to blue. Nope. Never mind. Not up to blue. He only had one SCV anyway. GG. Poland, using a stupidly good 2v2 team, takes it, clinches the playoff spot, Eastern Europe is eliminated, and that's it for the regular season. That is it for the regular season. Alright, so, playoff time. We got Russia, we got Poland, we got USA and Canada, and we got Central Europe. That starts tomorrow. Like, I'm casting the beginning of the playoffs tomorrow at 11.30 uh, my time, which is 20.30 CET. <sighs> Good stuff. All right. Well, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the cast, and thank you, of course, to the Swedish Brood War Initiative. They are setting up a PayPal. They are working out, like, the nitty-gritty details um, as far as foreigners are concerned for signing up. So you really should consider that once that all gets implemented. It's not quite there yet. But if you're Swedish, no excuse. You definitely should join. It's cheap, and the government will, will throw in extra money. And it's all helping Brood War, sponsoring great tournaments like this. It's something that every Brood War, uh, every foreign Brood War fan should be getting behind. I think it's absolutely amazing what they're doing. Alright. And that's it for me. Alright, thanks everybody again. See you next time.